and then I'm gonna go into the fight. I might even put double knuckle dust. A couple egg whites extra. Yeah, 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 maybe. Or maybe even bring a couple egg whites extra. Yeah, 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 maybe. Or maybe even bring. So I just saw the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury separate interviews. Um, Tyson Fury says he's gonna knock him out. Deontay Wilder saying he's gonna knock him out. You know, no more normal boxing t trash talk. But one thing I did notice also was the bias that the boxing media has um, towards Tyson Fury. Like, you can clearly tell who they want to win this fight. The fight. I might even put double knuckle dust. A couple egg whites extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe I even bring a couple egg whites extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe I even bring. But am I surprised? Absolutely not. You know, they always. I mean, look, if you watch those interviews, the lady who's interviewing Tyson Fury. I mean, she was clearly being really biased. You know who she wants to win. It was pretty obvious. Tyson Fury joking about cheating, saying, yep, might put a baseball bat in there, or whatever. He said something like that. And then she was like, add some extra egg weights, ha, 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 like laughing around. Like, they just try to make it a joke. Anything you make a joke, automatically, the public believes it's not true. And so it's a smart tactic. But, you know, it's clearly biased. They're trying to make a fool of Deontay Wilder. But this is not something new. You know, the fans already hated Deontay Wilder as soon as they saw him. So that's another story. But you guys can act like, well, everybody's only clowning him because the glove accusations. He lost to Tyson Fury. But you guys been you've been clowning him for the longest. When he lost to Tyson Fury, it wasn't just about the gloves. Before anything was even said, you could find comments saying, Oh, imagine losing in Black History Month. Oh, Black History Month's over early. Oh, all these terrible jokes. And, you know, they're just clowning him. They clowned him his whole career, said he only had a right hand. He had no skills. Oh, he has no skills. He's wild. He just throws that right hand. Anybody can do it. If anybody can do it, I don't see you out there doing it. So, you know, it is what it is. So they're going to clown the man his whole career, no matter what he does. And we know why. Yeah, we know why. You see, the boxing world and fans, they love to humiliate a certain type of person. And you know what I mean. Deontay Wilder, he only got the right hand, no skills. Oh, Black History Month early. Floyd Mayweather. Oh, he's a runner. He's running around the whole ring. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He doesn't want to fight. He's a runner. And that's why I'm so glad I made this YouTube channel because it helped me realize so much things about the world and about the world's true colors and how people actually act when, you know, there's not a camera on them, when there's not eyes on them. The true personality of people when they type things in the comments. So, you know, I knew the boxing world was already racist, but as soon as I made this YouTube channel, I was making videos about a lot of black fighters. And then I can see so much racist comments like every week and it gets more ridiculous and more ridiculous. I could just I just don't understand it, but that's just how the world is. But I do know why. But that's a different story for a different time. But, you know, I'm not going to sit here and cry about Tyson Fury getting all the love from the fan and the boxing media because it's no surprise to me. We knew they were going to be biased towards him anyway, but I'm rocking with my boy Deontay Wilder. But let's actually talk about the fight. So I think Tyson Fury is going to come out with the same game plan he did in the second fight. He's going to try to come forward and just come straight at him and throw them hands. But I think Deontay Wilder is going to make the adjustments. He's going to avoid letting him clinch up with him as much, letting him hit him in the back of the head. He's going to close off the ring, hit him with some body shots. You know, it should be a new experience. And I hope maybe he can knock him out with a body shot. That would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and Tyson Fury was like, he's thinking about me before he goes to sleep. He's thinking about me in the morning and the night, blah, 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 you know. He said he was thinking about Tyson Fury all the time. But, you know, that could be a good thing. And I actually do agree with that statement. Not to the extent that Tyson Fury was saying, because he's obviously being sarcastic and joking. But I think Deontay Wilder is really locked in for this fight. He, he's there for something to prove. He's there for something to prove with nothing to lose. So, you know, that's the difference. I think Tyson Fury has a little more comfortability because of his last fight. But I think Tyson, um, Deontay Wilder... He's straight going for the kill because he needs this win. And I think that drives people to a new level when they need something, when they're fighting for something important. And I think that's what's going to give Deontay Wilder the edge in this fight. And he's going to upset a lot of people. But what I'm excited about the most is seeing the new and improved Deontay Wilder. You know, I'm excited to see him like actually in the ring, use some skills and execute the game plan. On the pads, it looks like his speed has gotten better. I saw that clip of him sparring, wobbled the dude with that um, big right hand. You know, I've seen some pictures from sparring where he's throwing body shots. So this should be really interesting. You know, let the better man win, like I said last video. And I think Deontay Wilder will be that better man. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. JPJ the Great, and I'm checking out.